Hey everybody, how you all doing? Widdler Dave. Well, I'm outside enjoying the sunshine. I'm underneath my dogwood that's already dropped all its flowers. <laughs> I wish dogwoods would stay because I, I think they're beautiful, but they don't last long and they drop all their flowers. And then we got a you know, pretty green tree. I'm just out here in my side yard. I want to show you the, the duck. I, I call it like the cowboy duck or whatever. See this hat? And then, of course, boots. I always tell anybody, if you uh, live in my house, you got to have a set of boots on because you can't live there free. <laughs> but, yeah, just right there is just a simple little duck. I draw to fit, you know that. So I thought, well, I've been talking about it. So, here's another one. You know, and I, I, I'll, here's the, the hat because you just draw it all one piece, cut out it all that. That way, then you know the hat's going to fit the old noggin perfect and everything. And this duck here, I had to scrunch down because. You know, I, uh, he didn't want to fit the wood, so he's a little, gonna be a little smaller than that one. That don't matter. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start knocking corners. Knocking corners. And get it started, get it rounded. Just knocking corners. A little here, a little there. I tell you what, it's a beautiful day out. Whew, is it pretty. I wish he'd stay like this all the time. And make an old man happy. They're doing that little whoop to do, folks. Whoop, whoop, whoop to do. Got to do that whoop. Hey, I did something last night, and I thought I'd let everybody know. I put everything on Google Maps. Everything you need to know if you come here or whatever, all you got to do is go on Google Map, type in Whittler Dave, and he'll bring up my house, address, phone number, the whole kit and caboodle. You can come right here now. If you know how to do all that bleep bleep, they know how to use all that GPS stuff. Well, you can come to my house now. I am on Google Maps. So it's going to make it easier if you want to come here and pick up a, a piece of uh, Smoky Mountain art from an original hand carver. Or my wife makes phenomenal jewelry. You know, you can pick up some jewelry through, through her. And if she's not here, she's got it priced. And then I can sell it to you. So, it's a winner for anybody. You're buying handmade stuff. That's the trick. You want to save America? Believe in America. Buy America. That's all you need to know. Now, see there? There's his head. It's kind of profile. Now, let's do a little... Let's do the beak here. Let's get it over here. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to draw 14 million lines. You see how I take that knife and I just... I put a cut and I roll that blade. Let's slow down. I put a cut. And now I'm going to do a little backwards cut. And I'm going to slow down. we got to get that beak in. Head out. I don't profile too, you know, carving. A lot of people will do one of these and they'll draw it this shape. And then they have another pattern where they'll draw it this shape. And then they'll cut it all out and they'll boop, pop it out. And well, half of it's done. I don't, I don't teach like that. Just draw basic shape, and that's all you need, and then just think how it's supposed to look, and it's going to come out fine. You don't have to do all that pro... I call it profile carving. you got to cut half the profile out just to carve. No, I don't, I don't do that at all. I just... There we go. Kind of eye it up. Let's, tra let's taper this. And let's taper this. Like I said, Rome wasn't built in a day. Take your time. Take your time. And then, you know, if you have to know where the center is, draw your line on there. They don't have to be perfect. Now, let's see here. There's that. Now, you can see the shape. Here's the head. There's the neck and all that. And, you know, there's the, the bill and stuff. So now we're going to come in here. We're going to do a little swoop de do. And without what I say, swoop de doo There you go. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna we're just gonna get some corners off because you don't that thing stabs you in the hand. You gotta lose some corners. You know. There you go. See how it's picking up? Like I told you, if you're carving, all of a sudden it lifts and your knife stops. Well, then you're gonna have to turn that baby doll around. And cut it the other direction. Because you're lifting that grain. And it don't want to go. 
Always remember that. And this is just two pieces of wood that I glued together. They ain't a solid block. It's the sugar pine. Comes from that alpine that I love working with. Makes beautiful furniture. The alpine does. All right, so now we kind of got same, same, good enough, good enough. Now, let's see. Hang on, folks. Hang on, folks. Let me grab another knife here. Let's grab a knife. Gotta get that old chip carving knife out. So, like I said, we're, we need to set all the lines. Okay. That's where the boot's gonna go. It's gonna go right there. So we gotta set this line. Just need to set your lines and that way you know where everything goes into proportion. That's all you need to do. It's gonna tell you where the belly is, where the shoes start, and everything. what it's going to do. I'll tell you a lot. Let's get this knife out. As a matter of fact, let's pull this hogger out. Where is my hog? I don't know. Huh. Oh, there it is. I done got it out. I carry three knives on my hip. I'm, and they're all... There. I'm, I'm OCD, folks. I can't help it. And they all go in a certain area on my belt. And that way all I gotta do is just reach and grab. I put them a certain way every day. Now see, we got, there's your belly. There's your boot. Stuff like that. Now let's just jump over here. and Get this one set. We're just profile carving. Just cutting the profile. Remember that. I can't say that enough. Get your shapes in. all that you can see there and if you look at this boot here you can see the boot it's not fancy I could have carved more into it but why you know it's just a boot not fancy at all now let's knock off some of these corners right here You go. We'll see. It won't. It won't do it. So you're gonna have to cut the other way. This is one thing I don't do. I don't teach people to carve on your legs. I've been carving on my legs since knee high to a grasshopper. So I make you sit at a table. I usually go to the Burger King. It's an excellent place. That's where I was at this morning carving for a bunch of people. I met a really nice uh, uh, people that had came out of Canada, and I gave them both a mouse. I told you, I told, they will take some of my mice back to Canada. I always told you, it's better than, to give than receive. So, super nice people. Yeah, but that's where I teach a lot. Of, you know, I used to teach in Gatlinburg at McDonald's. I spent, I think, a little over seven years carving at the McDonald's in Gatlinburg. That's how a lot of people met me, that, you know, know me. You know, and a lot, I spent a lot, I was there every day, seven days a week, for about seven and a half years or so. And then they shut it down. And now, well, now I carve at the one Burger King in Sevierville, or Pigeon Forge, or whatever you want to call it, you know. So that's where I carve at. Alright, let's get, let's, let's get this knife here. Around this belly out right here. And so we're going to round her, tapering that boot in. Now, the one thing is, you always want to remember since I'm putting a hat on there, let's get the hat right. Nope, wrong way. You want to make sure. You have to be very careful in through here because you don't want to round this over because the hat has to set in a certain way. So you're going to have to round over a little bit, round this over. You've got to carve these at the same time, back and forth, back and forth, so you can 
set this head. And one of the best ways to do that is first take this off. Get this hat to set in. Set in on the head. Don't do it backwards. Don't cut the head yet. We'll put the cart before the horse. So you just gotta take out some of this wood. This is sugar pine, so it is going to split on you. So be very careful. It will split. I'll show you here in a minute what I'm doing. It's my little funky hats I call I tell people that's good enough now you can see sets in a little bit you know I'll get the hat carved everything just sets there in a little bit we're gonna need to take off some on the front to get it to set in and then you carve that that head get the hat where you want and then back and forth back and forth back and forth That's all you got to do. Get all these little lines profiled and done. And... Yes. Now, we're getting there. Let's kind of scoot him over. See? You got some of your head showing. And we'll, we'll cut this and we'll carve all this where the head's under the hat. That's the trick. You know, this one here is a little fatter right here. So we're going to just take you off right here. Yes. Glasses are sliding off my noggin. <laughs> there you go. Let's take this this way. Yeah. See? Very simple. Very simple. Let's do a little bit more and I'll show you some more lines and stuff. Let's work on the tail. Okay, same process. Take a little off. Cut. Taper that tail. Get little tail feathers. Come over here. Oh, now she's not going to cut that way. Nope. Get something a bigger knife out. I'm putting way too much pressure. Whoops, I dropped, I dropped the mice. Lord have mercy. We've got mice on the ground, folks. Mice on the ground. Okay. Let's get the hogger out. Went into some of that heavier, deep grain right there. Against that grain. There you go. See? There it is. And I'll come in here and I'll swoop all this and start working on the neck and everything. All that. A little at a time, folks. And don't. Don't take long. Yes. Was gonna go to the park a while ago, but there was way too many people there. My wife and I went and walked around. They've been doing a lot of remodeling at this park right down from my house. You know, and uh, just way too many people, too much noise, so, you know, I don't know how to edit, you know that, so I don't know how to pull noise out or, you know, stop a video, start a video. Um, haven't got to that point. Maybe one of these days I can. I don't know. You know. I've read it and read it and read it and read it, and I just don't understand it. No, sir. Not my cup of tea. Well, I just wanted to bring you on here real fast. Show you what I've been, what a, what a cowboy duck is, or a little fancy duck, and I'll uh, I'll do some more carving in on this. We'll probably be in the shop next time I work on this, not out here, because I, you know, I can't hold the camera out here and video it. So I'll have to do a shop carving 
area and everything but as you can see just the, the simple little ducks you know get out there glue you some wood together don't be afraid to try one it's very simple very simple well I just want to say thank you all and everybody that has followed me and given me wonderful likes and and share my videos and like I said I am now on Google Maps so if you come here to Gatlinburg Tennessee type in Widler Dave it's gonna bring up all my information where I live at and come and see me uh, either you're a carver and you want to sit down and whittle or you're wanting to learn to carve holler at me I don't charge I, I can show you the fundamentals of how, how to do something and we can go from there. So thank you all and you all have a blessed day and I will just talk to you later.